Recently, the Nanjing Traffic Law Enforcement Department completed the deployment of an inland waterway drone airport in Gaochun District. This marks the opening of a new chapter in smart law enforcement and supervision in the field of inland water traffic law enforcement in Nanjing. At present, Nanjing has a total of 644 kilometers of inland waterways. In order to grasp the dynamics of the waterway in a timely manner, more than 90 monitoring probes have been deployed around the main navigable waters. The opening of the first drone airport on inland waterways may assist traffic enforcement officers further improve law enforcement efficiency and accuracy. We are currently working on the Wuxian Line Channel in Gaochun District. Conduct electronic inspections using drones. This is the ship waiting to pass through the lock. How often does this inspection take place? We can set it. For example, it is okay to conduct inspections every two hours. Under normal circumstances, we conduct inspections twice a day, once in the morning and afternoon. The cabin of each drone is the station. Can cover a water area of 20 kilometers in radius. Regular visits to some of our key waters and key horse heads. Take an aerial photo for some obvious illegal activities. Able to mark. For example, for some bulk cargo ships, it did not implement warehouse closure measures during the voyage. There are some crew members on the deck, just within the working area, not wearing a life jacket. Drones can also assist on-site personnel, do some forensics. The drone airport has 24-hour, unattended, automatic inspection, remote control, and infrared thermal imaging function. It can realize comprehensive and round-the-clock monitoring of ship s illegal activities. In the next three years, Nanjing plans to develop inland waters and riverside port areas. Construct 15 drone airports to create a safe, efficient, and smart water transportation environment system. Provide favorable support.